All right, so let's take a look here at uh, TradingView, and this is going to be a quick primer on how to how to get around and do some things. Uh, we'll do just a couple of short videos here, real quick, uh, in this series, just to give you all a heads up and get you going, uh, because a lot of more people are using TradingView these days. Uh, so basically, what you're going to get when you first load up a chart is this. Um, you're going to see just the the green and red bars here, green bars up, um, green candles up here mean uh, price closed higher than it uh, opened. And the red bars mean price closed lower than it opened. Uh, other than that, you've got all this other fun stuff here. As a matter of fact, I think uh, when you do this as well, uh, you're going to have like the back here where it tells you what the um, the particular uh, asset you're trading is. But uh, here's how, here's what you're going to do. So if you want to change things on here, uh, all you're going to do is go right here. You're going to right click and go down to settings. Uh, now you can also not just do that, but you can also hit this little gear icon up here, get your chart properties. Uh, and then your symbol up here, that's this thing up here. You can either have the description on there or you can change it to the ticker. All right. Uh, this gives your open, high, low, and close values. These are these here. So wherever your cursor is along here, those will change. It will tell you on that candle uh, what your open was or where the uh, high was, where the low was, and what the close is on that candle. You can turn that on or off right there. Um, other things that you might be interested in. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, if you want to change your candles here, uh, this right here, this is the body of the candles. These are the border of the candles, and these are the wick colors. Uh, so, you know, you can sit here, make your wick colors black. You can make your uh, borders, uh, say, black there as well. You see how they're already changing here. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Um, and then your borders, uh, again, uh, with the black maybe, and then you say, let's say your up candles, you want to be white, and your down candles, you want to be black. Well, there you go. Now you've got it set in there. As you can see, your candle looks a lot different. And by the way, I would suggest this for anybody training anything, uh, especially if you're new. I would change uh, my, my candles to this right here because psychologically, the red and green tend to um, may make you emotional. So especially if you're new, I would suggest you change it to white and black. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to trade without as much emotion, believe it or not. Uh, so anyway, so you can also, by the way, uh, if you want to get back into all this stuff here, you can just double click right there on the pricing, and there you bring it up. Now, uh, if we go to appearance here, uh, the one thing that I know I really hate are these little squares here, these grid lines. So you go right here where it says vertical grid lines. You just gotta, All you have to do is pull this opacity down to zero. Notice they disappeared. Same thing right here, opacity down to zero. There you go. Now you've got a clean background on there. Uh, let's see here. The watermark, that was the other thing I'm talking about. If, if you click watermark on here, it'll tell the ticker, the time frame, and then it'll actually tell you what the, the asset is right there, um, the security or whatever it is that you happen to be trading. Uh, you can change now. You can change that with this here. You know, you can change it whatever colors you want and the opacity that you want here. Get it darker, lighter, whatever you want. Um, I know me personally, I don't like having this stuff on there at all. So I just unclick it, take it completely off. Uh, so that's what you need to know about that. Now you can also go in here, of course, and uh, you know you can go see if you go to a if you right click on your screen back here, you can go to color theme and you can set a whole bunch of different themes on here. All right. And so what you would need to do that is you go, okay, well, I like this. All right, I'm liking this. Uh, let's say you wanted to save this. So you would go here and you would go down to color theme and you go to save as. And you would say whatever you want to name it. Um, we'll name this black, white, clean. All right. And now we'll save that in there. And no matter what it comes in, if you come in here and uh, you reset the chart, let me see here, to... Oh, whatever you wanted to do with it, you know, whatever it was, uh, you know, you can hit dark here. And of course, it brings you the dark version. And so uh, let's say you're here and you're dark and you want to reset it back to where you were at. So you just go to your color themes and now I see that black and white clean. If you click that, it brings it right up there. Um, so that way you can kind of uh, change your coloring that you want there. And a lot of people seem to be really interested in making their, their backgrounds, everything look pretty cool. Uh, me personally, you guys know that uh, if I'm not using my black and white, which is often what I'm doing, um, I'll use a version that looks like this right here. And so uh, this is what we do now. So the next thing is, is, okay, you do this and you go up here to indicators. And uh, let's say your indicators come up here. 
And let's say you want RSI on there. So RSI, relative strength index, and you pull it up. And look at that, it's cool. Maybe that's okay for you, but maybe you want to change it, right? So you want to change this to whatever color you want to change it. Again, what you're going to do is you're going to double click in there and you bring it up. And so you can change your RSI color line. You can do this with any of these indicators. Just go in here and change these uh, things it has. The upper band here, uh, we can probably leave that where it is. Background instead of purple, maybe we make it um, more green like that, maybe. Uh, and so when you're looking at this now, now you have this. Now let's say you do this, and let's say every time you want to use your RSI and, um, oh, I don't know. Let's say you want to use um, MACD on there. And let's say you want to pull up also your TD Sequential up here. Here we go. And maybe even, let's say you really want something else. Let's say you want to do an EMA. You know, whatever, it doesn't matter here. Move an average right there. We'll pull that in there. Uh, and this even a, let's say instead of nine, let's say you want to change that to, because it defaults to nine when you come in there. So let's say you want to change that to 21, okay? And let's say, you know, you don't like the yellow color here. Let's say you want to change that um, to white as well. And, and so you go here and you go, okay, man, this would be great. I want to always be able to show up with this. And let's go ahead and pull this down here a little bit. You know, so you get this exactly how you want it. And let's say you want your TD Sequential on there, but you, you know, you want it accessible, but you don't want it on immediately when you turn on your chart. Let's say this is how you want your chart to look the first time when you pull it up. So you can actually save this as a template. Now your color background, you've already saved for your chart itself. But the indicators here, you can save them as a template. So you go up here where it says template, indicator templates, and you go save indicator template, and you give it a name. And we'll say uh, this is um, example is what we'll call it. Now, if you save interval, when you save that, it'll just save it as this interval. So, you know, if you want to use it no matter what time frame you're looking at, whether it's the one hour, the four hour, the 15 minute, the daily, weekly, whatever, you want to always pull up these same indicators and looking like this, then you wouldn't hit the save interval, okay? But you hit save there, right? And so now, if we go, let's say we go to the color theme here, let's go to light. There we go again. Um, and see how everything's changed here? And say you can't even see anything in here. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this. And let's say you're starting out fresh. And you've got all that right there, right? Now you're back here. You go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And so the first thing you do is you can go right here to color theme and you put in the theme that you wanted. Uh, so in this case, let's say it was that one. And then you go up here to templates and you click in the, the template that you wanted. And there you go. No matter what that time frame was, it'll come up all as it should there. And so that just makes it a whole lot easier to get back and forth um, into your uh, charts to get them looking the same way that you want them to look every time, no matter what you do. Uh, you know, no matter what chart you're bringing in or if you copy somebody else's chart and it shows their colors and indicators and things and you decide that you want to use your own, that's how you do it. Uh, let me see here. The only other thing with that real quick here is uh, if you're interested in log scale versus lith um, arithmetic scale there, your linear scale, that's this little uh, toggle down here. It says log. If you click it off, it goes to linear. If you click it on, it goes to log. Uh, and so that's just, again, just uh, something else that you can change in there however you want it. Um, if you have this set to auto down here, then as you move this chart, it's going to adjust automatically. Now, if you uh, bring it up, let's say you kind of move it like that. Now, as you move it, it doesn't. It moves with how you're moving it now. Notice it doesn't change now. That's another thing to uh, kind of keep in mind there uh, as well. Let me see. So that should do it right there uh, for that. We'll come back at the next video here, and we'll talk about all these fun little guys over here and your time frames and stuff like that. All right.